what you guys are all here for. You, I know why you guys clicked on this. I know what you want to see. So I'm gonna try to pack like a minimalist. I'm not a real minimalist, but like trying to get the mindset. I honestly was gonna take just a carry-on. Oh, I'm going for seven days. And I think I could do it, but I'm taking this tripod with me because we have to do some shoots and some videos. But if I wasn't taking this tripod with me, I definitely wanna try a carry-on. So next thing, next challenge, taking a carry-on for seven days. Oh, oh God. I got these wicked, um, I got these wicked, this is not, I thought this was a cool angle, but I got these travel pods or travel cubes. Um, they're, I love them. I'm gonna use them all the time, I think. Um, so I have them organized by pants, shirts, socks and underwear, and then that's it. And then I keep everything super organized. I think traveling shouldn't be as stressful and hard as you can make it, and I wanna make it super easy. I travel a lot. I live with a suitcase a lot, and I'm going to try to make it easier. As well, I think this is turning Allison on, so you're welcome, baby. Also wanted to show you guys something really quick. Um, Allison got me these for Christmas and they have saved my life and my organization and just <coughs> filming. So there's these like little cube organization kits and I use them for everything and I just dump them in my book bag. I'm packing I have to show you guys this because I'm really really excited about just as I'm super excited to see Allison but I'm excited to also give her this she knows about it though but um, I got her well we kind of I don't think you guys know this I don't think anyone knows this because this girl never complains about anything she is so like Allison is definitely a minimalist in her like in some ways but like she doesn't need, like, she never needs, she never buys herself new clothes, never buys new shoes. She holds on to, like, keepsakes and, like, memor like certain things, but, like, she doesn't buy a lot. So Allison takes amazing photos. She's a great photographer, but she's been using a camera that's, like, 10 years old. It's, like, 8 or 9 or 10 years old. But if you go and look at her Instagram page, she does amazing. She does great. We actually just got her, um... Only a year ago, I think I just got her that wide angle lens and that was like a big investment. We got that on Craigslist. And and she just made do with what she had and it just shows you that gear really doesn't matter. But we've been looking, I wanted to get her a, ca a, a new camera, or at least a new body because she deserves it. And especially if we wanna make this into a business and be taken more seriously, she needs a, a camera that's at least, uh, you know, not 10 years old. Uh, her camera doesn't even take videos, so that's another reason uh, why we don't see that many alley vlogs. But, um, so I got her the Canon uh, 7D. Uh, she gave me a bit of money too, but anyway. Um, we ended up getting her um, a portrait lens too, which I'm really excited um, for her to use and take pictures of me. And I'm just, and I know she, she knows about it already, and she's so excited to play with this. And it takes videos. Um, I think we might see some more alley vlogs. I don't know. I'm so excited and she deserves this. And um, guys, I've been playing around with this a lot though. I shoot with the Panasonic and I might switch over to Canon. Like it's really good. That autofocus, that sensor on it is good. I don't know. But uh, well, maybe I'll sh shoot with both and see what you guys think. I am sick guys. I am fighting a flu. I was sick all week and now my voice is just gone. Like listen to this sexy boy. Oh, I didn't realize how am I gonna vlog like this? Oh, I might have to do a voiceover. <laughs> you guys like those voiceovers. Um, 
I'm feeling a little better though. I'm in beautiful Toronto, uh, Canada. And most people when they come here, they're either, you know, connecting or here for business. Like Toronto's airport is definitely on wheels. And you're probably thinking, wow, where are you and Allison going? Oh, I'm meeting Allison, by the way. You guys, if you watched last vlog, you knew this. Um, so I'm meeting Allison. She's on spring break or reading the break or whatever. And we decided to meet each other. And you're probably thinking, wow, where are you guys going? Summer warm, probably, because it's March. Uh, no, we're staying in Toronto. It's sunny, though, and it's like zero. Well, maybe one degrees. Um, but yeah, it was just, we wanted to meet in the middle and middle is Saskatchewan. I've never been, but we're not going to Saskatchewan in March. Uh, Saskatchewan, I'm sure you're beautiful. I'd like to go there. Um, but anyway, we're in Toronto and we're staying with our friends Marley and Kelly. And I'm going to Marley's house right now. And then we're going to Muskoka, I think it is, for the weekend to have this like vacation retreat, which is like a bunch of lesbians in a cottage for the weekend. Sounds amazing, I know. Let me explain Marley to you guys really quickly. It all started with just Marley sliding into my DMs on Instagram. And I'm so happy she did. We've never met before. We've never actually even talked before. Liked a few photos, but she saw something in me. I, I don't know. Just, you know when you have a feeling with someone? I, I don't know. She took a chance on me. After that, we just immediately clicked. And fast forward to three months later and her partner and Rachel and Nicole come out all the way to British Columbia and we rent a huge cabin in Squamish we hiked the chief hungover and just really connected the first time we've actually all been together and it was like we've been friends for literally 15 years we were so comfortable with each other it was nice that people were able we were able to relate to each other that we felt normal make more internet friends you take anything out of this video make more internet friends slide into more dms message more people engage it's social media be social on social media and then their friends nicole and rachel who are our friends now god love the internet i'm telling you slide into more dms connect with people but and then we're gonna stay through the week i'll be here for seven days and we're just gonna hang out and see some people um and again, just really hang out with each other. I'm excited. Um, I did forget Allison's battery charge, though, um, for her new camera, so I feel like an idiot. But hopefully we can get that. But anyway, Allison gets in in two more hours. I'm going to meet Marley and Kelly, and then we're driving two hours, and then Allison and Nicole, Allison, Nicole, and Rachel are driving two hours after she gets in to meet us at the cottage. So I still have to go a couple more hours with her, but so close, so close. Look at him, Oliver. Hi, baby. I know. I. <gasps> oh my God, you're cute. You're so sweet. Come here. Okay. Come on. Five hours later, we finally made it to Muskoka, wherever it's called, Muskoka or Cottage Country in Bank or Toronto. Allison is about 20 minutes away. I'm really excited. The batteries. Oh, that's forever.
game. Fantastic. You guys are gonna love it. It's called Spin the Bottle. It's super fun. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna be making like, out. We probably play it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, okay, so we got Marley, and this is Marley's partner Kelly, and then. Are, do you want me to? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> so we have Nicole, Nicole, and then her partner Rachel. Pop the calls. <laughs> and you do meet the dogs. Oh, 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 well, they already know about Oliver, but like, bring him back. Bring him back for. Oh, look at his face. Miss. And Miss Berkeley. Miss. Not just Berkeley, but Miss Berkeley. Yeah, yes, Miss. Miss Berkeley. Oh. <laughs> look at that. You're fucking savage. Oh, she's so <laughs> sweet. And we got me and Allison have Nala that didn't come, so. Nala. <laughs> and this is Allison, my partner. were cute and we talked a lot about Big Brother Canada um, but I would just we just been hanging out ourselves and having some alone time but um, we're going to sleep now it's like 2 a.m. 3 a.m. my time 10 p.m. your time but I've been up since 5 so Anyway, guys, I'm going to end it here. I'll keep vlogging the whole weekend. Um, Allison, did you miss me? Yes. Did you miss the vlog? Yep. Yes. Okay. We love you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Good night. Good night. <laughs> That's weird. Why do you feel it when I kiss her? I like the camera and I can kiss him. Kiss it. No. Kiss it. No. Kiss me. That's right. I think I'll get a tattoo while I'm here. Yes. Okay. Do you want to just get like scissors or something? <laughs> I would do something like that. Like if I.